Hi right, guys, this is Flint Spot. I was wanting to show you this, and I know a lot of you, you've seen this display uh, method that Commissioner Tom had given us an idea about, and I constructed me one of these, and just recently got me some cases ordered and got it filled up. This one holds eight. Unfortunately, I can only um, pull these cases out from this one end. This right here comes loose. It comes completely off, and uh, you can take those cases out. But I just got these filled up, and just various points, and all surface finds. And I hadn't a lot of these you've not been able to see, but I won't, I won't be able to show you all of them. But more than anything, just wanted to show you these these Riker cases the way that. Tom had them displayed. Real good idea. Now I finally got it filled up. This hold, holds eight cases. And, but I wanted to show you what else I've been working on. Uh, during these days when it's been like it is, not only here but most everywhere, the heat has just been crazy. I've got this table over here that you've seen before and I've, I've removed a whole lot of points from it. And I've just kept my bigger blades and whatnot in this case. Some of the pieces that I just really uh, want access to, I guess you could say, even more convenient access than even the Racker cases. I've got different pieces in there. You see the banner stone there that I found this year and that, that big uh, flake blade. There's a banner stone that I found years ago broken. Just, just various things in here that you just can't put in record cases, manos and silts and cones and just different things. But over here is what I've been working on, and uh, I like Commissioner Tom's display case really well. But uh, I had an idea, and and I know it's not original because I've never had an original idea and I doubt you have either uh, there's nothing new under the sun I made to believe but this here I thought would be a real good way to display these record cases and I like them because I mean they're inexpensive for one thing you can buy these I know uh, Commissioner Tom talks about buying them for five dollars a piece I can't find them that cheap and I bought a case of twelve uh, they're the 12 by 18s. Uh, the time I got them here, I think it was around $78 worth is what I bought of them. And I've yet to, I've probably got enough points to uh, uh, to fill the racker cases up that I've got, but I've just not got them put together yet. But this thing, the way I've got it made, it holds 16. These are slotted every one inch apart. And I only used a shelving. Uh, I bought the shelving that's 10 foot long. This cabinet right here took four pieces of 10 foot shelving. Of course, these racker cases being 12 inches, they don't. They bottom out, or they they hang over just about an inch under the bottom, which gives you a good place to grab, because the depth of these uh, pieces of shelving is only like 11 and a quarter. So I made it like a, you know, 19 to 20 inches wide, and uh, like I said, it holds 16. And then you can, you can, you know, make you some spaces that'll accommodate, you know, some bigger cases or whatever. You make it any way you want to. I just uh, thought this would be a neat way of putting those racker cases in there, and uh, you know, there's some points that I like to get out and handle every once in a while. And this is just a convenient way for me to be able to do that, unlike, you know, other methods of uh, displaying them. You can't really handle a whole lot of them without taking them out and just really breaking into them. And in these racker cases, most especially when you've got them stood up, if you, you know, if you manipulate with them too awful much, you'll mess with the fluff that's holding them upright, you know. Sorry about this camera light coming on and off. I just really don't know what to do with it. I know it has a lot to do with the lighting, you know, in these places that not good lighting up here. 
wanted to show you this real cool noting stone that I found years ago. A dimple on both sides. A lot of people found noting stones. But I like it. No way of putting that in a record case, so I made me a place here in the middle that I can put some bigger stuff for display. Uh, this hammerstone. Just uh, several different things, little monos, and this is a huge piece of it's a piece of flint. But I don't know if they were working on that or not. It's got scratch marks all over that thing. It's a big old chunk of flint, though. That's what it is. But I've never seen one that's polished and smooth as that one is. My daddy-in-law gave me that one just not too long ago. You can see it's it's a flint piece. But anyway, that'd been a heavy piece to carry around for an axe. But they may have been working on making one out of it or something other. But anyway, I've got another slot here that's bigger as well, and you can go back and you can put in, you know, more more boards and make these one inches to accommodate the the racker cases too. But I wanted something I could leave open, you know, for bigger things. And I'm working on this this case. This is things that's come from my lost lake field this year. I've not got this this one completed yet, and uh, that's what I'm doing with these other two up here as well. These uh, when I get when I get the hunting done for 2012, uh, I'll probably go ahead and pick out the best out of these. These came from my dovetail field uh, this year only. And I've uh, still got that to hunt yet. Uh, I've hunted it, you know, two or three times. You've seen it in the recent videos, but right now it's needing to be turned again. I've hunted it twice since we've had, and we've had two rains. And I put this stuff in here after I painted this, probably a little bit too soon. I should have let it sit up here for about a week, but I don't think I've heard anything. I painted it with white enamel. It takes a long time for that stuff to dry when you put two coats on it. But anyway, these are the things that I found out of my old stomping grounds this year, and you've seen, uh, you've seen probably every one that I found down there this year. And this is just a, you know, some of the better ones. Uh, you've seen them. I found, I found just tons, and uh, won't be long. I checked on it this past Friday, and it's still green looking. I would have thought it'd been killing off by now, and it'd been cut. Uh, but I don't think it's going to be too awful long. That was one of the last finds I found down there just a week or so ago. But anyway, that's what I'm going to do with this too. I may end up making two racker cases out of these finds at the old stomping grounds, but uh, I don't want to fill them all up. You know, uh, I've I've still got, I think, I think I've still got six left or five. I don't know how many I've got left. Yeah, I've got five. I can count right, but anyway, I don't want to fill them all up just right away. It gives you kind of something to work on, but I can always buy me some more if I need to, because I still still got room to put several of these. But I thought you might be interested in looking at that cabinet, because it's real it's real simple to make and it's inexpensive. I think I got about I think I got about fifty dollars tied up in that with the four pieces of wood. And of course, I made it myself, and uh can't count your own time and then I already had to already had to paint on hand where I bought it to paint that over there but anyway it's just another alternative and I find it to be a much easier way if you're gonna be handling your points very much and I like to I like to handle mine look at them and examine them again and again and this is just a real simple idea now that thing right there, I made it outside, and I don't know, it weighs as much as four pieces of shelving. I'm, I'm, I'm aiming to guess it weighs probably 75 to 80 pounds, maybe a little more, I don't know. But I've seen one, and you can do whatever you want to, but I've seen one that uh, just had slats, maybe an inch wide right here, that run down through the length of this thing to the back on both sides. And it would still accommodate a racker case. 
but I didn't want I didn't want to take a chance on mine of bowing. Uh, so I, I I just went ahead and uh, made mine that way. But the other way would probably be fine if you didn't just overload it with rocks. And, but when you got them laying down like this, and you don't plan on hanging them up, I mean you can pile them full. And that's what I hope to do is pile mine full. But this is what comes from my lost. Uh, I mean my yeah my lost lake field this year. A little bead right there. Somebody told me that's exactly what it is. Turkey tails, Adenas. But anyway, this camera's gonna, it's just flipping out over this light issue, but I'll get off here, and I appreciate you watching, and my, when it gets to where I can, I'll get back out and try to find us something on the ground to look at. Maybe all of you get some rain and some relief. I know it's been a tough summer. Talk to you later.